have you ever observed water droplets on top of surfaces of plants like leaves especially early in the mornings well sometimes the reason why this happens is due where when there is a lot of moisture in the atmosphere the moisture or water vapor it condenses to form dew on plants sometimes the reason why this happens is a process known as guttation and what is the difference between guttation and dew well the answer is in guttation these water droplets are not just water but they also contain ions solutes and nutrients anything that can come from inside the plant dew is just water that is coming from the atmosphere and condensing on top of the leaves but in guttation these substances are coming from inside the plant what causes these substances like water ions and nutrients and solutes to come out of the plant or exuded out of the plant well the answer to that question is root pressure what is root pressure well what it exactly means it is the pressure generated within the roots by the accumulation of water ions and other nutrients root pressure is one among the three methods or mechanisms by which plants can transport water and nutrients to different parts of the plant we know that roots are the structures that absorb water and nutrients right they have to be transported to all parts of the plant against the force of gravity against the gravitational pull so root pressure is one among the three methods that explains the transport of these substances to all parts of the plant how is root pressure generated and how does this lead to guttation that's what we will be taking a look at in this video root pressure is generated in the night especially when the stomata on the leaves are closed you know that stomata are tiny pores through which plants perform gas exchange right apart from performing gas exchange stomata are the location for transpiration what is transpiration it is when water evaporates from the surface of the leaves through the stomata and this transpiration as it happens it creates a negative pressure inside the plant which pulls the water and nutrients up against the force of gravity this is much like us sucking water or juice out of a straw we suck it out we suck with our mouth and the water or juice whatever it is it moves up the straw up inside the straw so transpiration is that suction pull that moves water from the roots to different parts of the plant but in the night the stomata are closed because there is no need for gas exchange to take place and transpiration also does not occur so when transpiration is not occurring and there is no pull that is pulling the water and nutrients up into the plant the nutrients and water they tend to accumulate within the root itself so this here is a root which is we are looking at inside the root and here we have different ions and solutes accumulated within the root now this creates a concentration gradient there are more ions and solutes inside the root compared to outside the root in contrast there is more water outside the root compared to inside the root and we all know that through osmosis water always moves from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration so because of this concentration gradient water moves in the root through osmosis and now the moving of this water and the presence of these solutes this is going to push up the water within the root so as water is entering the root from here whatever molecules are here on top whatever ions and water molecules are here on top they are going to get pushed up and this pushing up of water and other solute molecules this is what generates the root pressure and if you were to measure the root pressure you would be doing it just about here at the tip of this root just below the soil and if you were to take a device to measure the pressure and measure it it would be around 0.6 megapascals for almost all plants now the thing about this root pressure is that it's not enough for plants to transport water and nutrients only through root pressure the maximum distance that root pressure can push water up in the plants is around 7 meters so how does root pressure transport nutrients basically just pushes up the water as more and more water comes down here enters the root here the substances on top get pushed up to the upper parts of the plant some plants and trees are over 100 meters tall 
For these plants, root pressure is definitely not enough to transport water and nutrients. These plants rely majorly on transpiration to transport their water and nutrients. But small plants, trees and shrubs do use root pressure to transport their nutrients, especially in the night when the stomata are closed and transpiration does not occur. So how does this cause guttation? All these substances have accumulated here, right? And as more and more water enters the root, the substances are pushed up against the upper parts of the plant, like the leaves. And in these leaves, there are special structures known as hydathodes and other leaf pores. So through these leaf pores and hydathodes, these solutes and water are pushed out or exuded out, which is what leads to the formation of droplets on the leaf surface or guttation. So root pressure alone is not enough for tall plants to transport water and nutrients, but it is somewhat enough for smaller plants to transport water and nutrients, especially in the night when the stomata are closed and when there is enough moisture in the soil. The soil needs to be filled with water. If it is dry, then there is not enough water to enter the root from the soil. In the night, when the soil moisture is high, water enters the root through osmosis and it begins to generate a pressure inside the root. The pressure pushes the water and nutrients and other solutes to the upper parts of the plant where they are exuded out. Because there is no transpirational pull to pull them up to different parts of the plant, they begin to be pushed out of the plant or exuded out of the plant because of the budding or the building up of this root pressure. This root pressure is beneficial especially in trees like maple when the root pressure is what causes the phloem sap to be exuded out through the barks of the maple trees. This is what we collect as maple syrup. The reason why the maple syrup and other forms of phloem sap are exuded out of the barks in trees like maple is because of this root pressure.